Manatees can live in either fresh or brackish water. Brackish water is semi-salty water. They live in slow-running rivers, bays, and they prefer to stay in about 7 feet of water. Manatees live in the photic zone of the ocean. Manatees eat mostly plants because they're herbivores. They eat different kinds of seagrass, such as turtle grass, seagrass, manatee grass, and different types of algae and mangrove leaves. Once a manatee eats in one place, they return there again and again to continue feeding. Manatees use their fins to bring food towards their claw-shaped mouths, which are used like clamps to rip food apart. Manatees have rough skin mostly covered in barnacles, as well as they are 3 meters in length and weigh about 1,200 pounds. Manatees live most of their life in the water. They are low-blooded and have a low mobotic weight, so they don't handle cold well. When water gets to 68 degrees, manatees start to migrate. In the summer, manatees spread out across the east coast of the U.S. towards the Gulf of Mexico, and in the winter, they return to Florida. A manatee's gestation period is 13 months. By the time the baby manatee is born, it is nursed by the mother for two years until it's old enough to do things on its own. Manatees produce one to three offsprings once every other year. A manatee's predators are whales, sharks, crocodiles, and alligators. A manatee cannot camouflage itself because they don't travel in large groups, nor do they have sharp teeth or claws. So they stay in shallow water when being attacked so predators can't drag them down for longer than 15 minutes without breathing. Manatees use their flippers to steer and use their paddle to swim, which is its tail. Manatees affect the ecosystem by returning to the same seabeds of grass to eat and graze. The constant mowing of the seagrass may do harm in the long run. Manatees feed in seagrass beds, as well as shallow water. They always return to the same seagrass beds. Manatees affect the ecosystem by returning to the same seabeds of grass to eat and graze. The constant mowing of the seagrass may do harm in the long run.